everybody welcome back to another popcorn my name is stephanie if you guys are new how about clicking that subscribe button so i cannot believe i actually got through uh hollywood so quickly i have not been to watch a show in so long it never fell whenever i start recording coco comes over for her loud house drinking <laughs> Okay, top of the title of this video is talking about Netflix's newest miniseries, Hollywood, which is uh, written by Ryan Murphy. This is his uh, next project. Um, he also did American Horror Story, uh, American Crime Story, um, Glee, Pose. My absolute favorite one would be Scream Queens. And if you've been with me for a while, I don't think that would be a surprise if you're new. Just know I'm into those type of like cheesiness over the top kind of deal. I mean, you do see my Keanu poster up here. It's just kind of like really my cup of tea. So I'm very excited for season three. Uh, but let's go ahead and get back over here to Hollywood. Now this is based in post World War II Hollywood. Um, and this is just, we're following um, a, a group of people who are really trying to make it into the show business of Hollywood, whether it be directing, acting, writing, um, what it takes or what you're willing to do rather, uh, whether it be moral or immoral, to make it big, to become that Hollywood star, to get that Oscar nomination. I'll go ahead and say this straight off the bat, you guys, that this show, it's not going to be for everybody given a lot of the topics that are involved. I'm gonna go ahead and start this off with what the negative aspects could be for certain people. Um, I've said this many times, I'm not a fragile person, I'm not a delicate person, so things like this do not bother me, but I know that there are a lot of people out there that do not like a lot of the things that are involved in this show. So I'm gonna go ahead and just talk about that first because I don't wanna talk about all the good stuff about it, and then when I get to that later on, you're gonna be like, oh no, like why didn't you not start off with that first? So, all right, for starters, this show has a lot of sex, um, there are male gigolos, also nudity, especially in the first couple episodes. Towards the end, I don't think you really see much anymore. If you are homophobic, you're not gonna like this series at all, so don't even bother, because I'd rather you not talk shit about, about it, uh, because there is two guys kissing, or because you are seeing penis and whatever. Infidelity, there is... was there drug use? There might have been drug use. There's a lot of alcohol involved. I can't remember if there's drug use or not. I don't think there was. That may be the only thing that it was lacking. If there was drug use, I don't remember it. So it might be like a small amount. Finally, the big one would be sexual harassment. Just straight off the bat, that is what I know is going to throw a lot of people off. That This is what's going to cause a lot of the negative comments towards this show. Um, but I again have no problem i don't get offended by things not based on a true story but there are true aspects to it we do get a lot of references from real life people um in uh, this show as well we do get to see a couple of like icons from that time ryan very carefully i felt made this into like a political statement in a way a lot of the things that are, are even to the day 2020 are being faced now like the Me Too movement, the uh, discrimination, uh, the whole Oscar so white deal. I mean, a lot of the aspects that are being put into this show is really much go with what's going on in this day and age. I honestly hadn't heard other people really go much into detail because I know it's very like touchy and but I, I'm, I'm gonna do it I, I mean I'm gonna talk about it it's something that's in the show one of the things that I really like that Ryan did in this uh series was showcase that not just women are the ones that get abused um sexually but also men you know we always hear the me too and it's always you know it's obviously focused more on towards women right it goes off with the women and this one would be more of the discrimination because she is a leading black woman. Well, she's not a leading woman at this time but because she is a black woman that's the type of discrimination she's getting uh, but over here it is um this guy who is being um abused by his talent agent which is actually um jim parsons who plays sheldon which is very very weird way to see sheldon i mean we already kind of got this like aspect of him being a little bit of an asshole in hidden figures but you really really dislike him i mean he did a really good job in this role but it's so weird seeing him being this type of person this now this series only has seven episodes and they're all about almost an hour long i kind of wish we 
had a couple more episodes to be honest i think maybe like nine would have been good but for me personally i liked it from episode one what i've noticed a lot of people saying is that they don't really get into it till about episode four or five like literally towards the end of the series but it has their opinions at least you'll know that i don't just jump into what other people are saying i will tell you what i've heard and you know if i agree or disagree half the time it's i disagree sometimes i do agree but for this i don't feel like it started off slow i didn't feel like i needed to stick with the show the one that i did find difficult to really keep focus on and literally did not find for me didn't find its footing it really did not get interesting um to about episode like the last two episodes was carnival row um i do have a review on that now the cast was absolutely uh great uh, like i said already uh jim parsons comes on this uh series there are a couple um i think like three four characters uh more so the younger ones that i really did not know who they were i mean i knew who Darren, uh chris was is that how you say he's like chris right um and of course dylan mcdermott oh my god tamara weaver also comes on this uh, movie her i fell in love with her since i saw the babysitter netflix as a babysitter and i fell even more in love with her with ready or not if you guys have not seen that movie you definitely definitely should it was a very big surprising movie for me last year and the way that it ends it leaves a nice setup for a potential season two but it also doesn't leave you wanting a season two if that makes sense so it's like if we get it it's a nice surprise but we don't necessarily need it i i don't feel like it really left us in a cliffhanger it was just a really nice ending all right you guys so i think that's all that i'm going to say about netflix's newest um, mini series Hollywood. I think it was great. I definitely recommend it. If you don't fall within that fragile state and if you don't mind all the negative things that I mentioned early on in this review, I personally don't find them negative, but I know that a lot of people could find them offensive. I don't know about you guys. Okay, I'm so glad that I remembered this. Cause I, I when I was watching the show, I was like, please don't forget to say this. I had like a mental note, but my mental notes are like like they don't matter but while i was watching the show and every time dylan would cough and he was literally just like <coughs> i was just like coronavirus i uh, was anybody uh, probably not yeah probably weren't yeah yeah not like weird like that like me but my last thing that i'll have to say about it is how we got to see from um is how we got to see where this story really started off as far as the actual movie that's being made within the series of how they fought to get it up because it was starring this black woman who was written by a black gay man who was being directed by a half filipino guy so i mean just it was very 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 much not acceptable during that time and let's face it even during this time it's probably not the easiest for them yeah that's all i'm gonna say all right you guys if you guys have seen netflix's hollywood what did you guys think about it did you like it did you hate it was it just not for you or you just need to skip out because of the things that i said at the beginning of the uh, review if you do that's fine you know it's just it's not for everybody and of course before you guys leave don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new stay safe you guys and until everything opens up in a safely manner i'll see you guys in concessions bye